it's a life struggle. I mean, reggae music is really, really serious music. We make sure that we are speaking out for the people. Coming up, that's how I interpreted reggae music. Yeah, it has its fun character. Yeah, it's okay to talk about weed and talk about dancing and one love and all of that. Um, that's an element of it, but I think that that's just fluff that's on the top. The political system is so stuck on oppressing. And Big Mountain is all about fighting against that. I was a young Chicano. All of a sudden, I was kind of thrust into this racial dynamic that reggae helped me figure out a lot. Me being an American, also Mexican, Scott Irish, German, raised with an African American father. I can't relate to the separatism that's going on. So that's really what we're trying to send out. It's trying to give people context to what we're experiencing out there and make people understand it, be a, a, a positive influence on the world. You know, it just, I was inspired to write a song called Deportation Nation. So they can round up the population with no explanation right in front of our face. And then Kino sent me this song to get my opinion on what it sounded like. And I immediately replied to him, was like, oh, you gotta put me on that. And I was saying so kind of jokingly, but at the same time impulsively. Throughout the years, we've always tried to work together on an artistic level. As I'm in a process of writing a song, I'll send the song to him and just to get some feedback. He's really one of the people that I really depend on when I'm doing very politically provocative things. I had a need to separate myself from Big Mountain for a while. The fact that Big Mountain is gaining resurgence right now. My brother James, he's been involved um, in his solo project. I've had my space to center myself. I've had my space to create my own creations outside of Big Mountain. Do the things that have been inside of myself that I've been wanting to just let out. One important thing to me is that uh, I love my brother dearly. What we bring to the table together as musicians I really haven't seen anything like it. Well, in 1994, Big Mountain came out with an album called Unity. Many people remember that album because of the big hit that we had, Ooh Baby, I Love Your Way. Ooh, baby, I love your way every day. Huge pop success that took us all over the world. But that same year, on that same album, we had a song called Border Town. That song was written as a reaction of a lot of things that were happening here in San Diego, my hometown, and along the border of the United States. When I came across the music of Big Mountain and the song Border Town, I was an activist against police brutality. Uh, 1994 was the year that NAFTA was enacted. Um, it was a year that the uh, Operation Gatekeeper, they started to beef up the border. And so the fact that there was a song so vibrant and such a great song at the time that we could use as a tool to link the urban struggle to the border struggle and in a genre that had relevance in both spaces because it's backed by rhythm and it's backed by something that actually moves naturally in your body. That's what Deportation Nation is about. Have tools around you to really be able to create your identity and understand why you are in the situation you're in. Understand why your people are not part of the story. It is a land that needs to cry. Needs a mind to hold. It's an open wound, the U.S.-Mexico border. The late uh, Tejana writer and theorist Gloria Saldua described it best as an open wound that never heals. United States cannot survive without labor from undocumented people. That is the reality. What is the alternative? What are we gonna do? 
because we can't just keep on deporting people every 20, 30 years when we decide some populist wacko becomes president and decides to take advantage of, you know, of people's, of people's emotions. That's not a world I want to live in and that's not a world I'm going to stand for. The natural way for us to give back to this world for all the love we've been given is to keep fighting for the people. I did my time.